Greetings and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. This is the place where we come through the crap to bring you the real deal on the gaming <laughs> industry. Today, I'm Brent Adams, joined by my purchasers of punishment, my mm. buyers of bludgeoning, Tony mm. Grace and Daniel Kaiser. What's going on, fellas? Ah! I feel the need sorry, to sorry. yell. <laughs> and if, if if I was at a Don't follow concert, the crowd, I would buddy. stand up right now because of that intro. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what would happen. That's exactly right. And li- I mean, listen, if there were anybody listening to the show right now that was in a wheelchair, they just got cured and got out of that fucking wheelchair. Okay, just stand I don't know. Up. What, I don't we're, know. What hey, we're not, hey, we're not going on with the podcast till you stand up. So we're gonna wait. That's right. We're gonna wait until you stand up. Man, if this is the longest we've this, ever had to wait. This is the so, this is the longest we've had to wait for you to stand up. Stand. I don't care. Daniel, Daniel go there. Check. Go go over there. Check them out. <laughs> check these people out that aren't listening. Yeah, to podcast. it's legit. They're paralyzed. Oh, okay. All right. That was unfortunate. Fine. Welcome everybody. It's Monday, September the twenty second. Oh, happy Monday! Happy Monday. Sorry that we missed you guys last week. It was a hectic yeah. week. Uh, as Sorry. I as I mentioned on the Axe Factor, it was a hectic week for all of us. And uh, unfortunately, we we just missed our window of opportunity to record, and then everything got busy again. And then we tried we tried to rally. We tried to rally and. And, and make it happen. I don't think we strained ourselves, though. And, we? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I strained, Tony. I mean, I can't speak for either of you two slubs, but... I was ready. I was straining, That's man. Good. I mean, like, like you know, busted O-ring straining. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My point, though, is uh, how's it going? And uh, we are going to... Uh, we're going to kick off this week's series of episodes of Epic Battle Cry mm. with a question today about... Uh, about the, the the big news last week that uh, that Microsoft bought Mojang and that and that Mojang is pronounced Mojang, which I did not well, know. Everyone thought it was Mojang prior to that. Well, it fucking looks like Mojang, doesn't it? Why <laughs> would anybody? Why would anybody well, think when otherwise? When Spencer says Mojang, you know it's Mojang. Yeah, because he just played two and a half billion dollars for it. That motherfucker knows how that <laughs> fucking thing's pronounced. Believe you it. Better know how to pronounce it if you pay two and a half billion dollars. Um, I had, that's like the third time I've rattled off that joke, and I stole it from Lauren. Like L- Lauren, just <laughs> off the top of his head, he's like, he just paid two and a half billion dollars for it. I bet you he knows how it's pronounced. And it fucking yeah. killed me, and I've just been ripping it off ever since. So, to yeah. everybody who's tired of it at this point, I apologize. My point is this. Today's question comes from Lavitz, who is mm. on Twitter, at mm. Lavitz, and he says, at Epic Battle Axe, what do you think about Microsoft buying Mojang and its founders leaving? <laughs> Will that team be able to create <laughs> another hit? Daniel, what do you think? <sighs> I think... Um, well, first of all, I only pay twenty bucks for for Minecraft, so I guess that's what happens when you convert to Microsoft. <laughs> you really do that to me. Uh, oh, but man. the the bottom line for me is, I, I you know, this is really interesting because obviously Minecraft is a huge cultural phenomenon, but has it already peaked? That's my question. Yeah. I mean, how much more can be accomplished? with the Minecraft thing. I think first and foremost, it's worth noting and understanding that Phil Spencer's address and and addressing publicly what this was all about. You know, they're they're maintaining Minecraft's presence across all platforms, including PlayStation. So a a lot of the initial type of stuff, you know, Yeah, of course, good news. But a lot of the initial type of things, you know, hey, Microsoft now owns Minecraft, so that means it's going to be exclusive to their platforms. That is inaccurate. Um, If you love Minecraft and are somebody who uh, enjoys that IP for uh, everything that it's worth, whether it's attending things like Minecon or just simply enjoying the game on your platform of choice, things will proceed as normal as far as we can tell right now and probably likely to expand because that's a huge investment that Microsoft is, as we've spoke about on this show in years past, you know, you don't put an investment into something without hoping to make that return. We're going to talk about Destiny later in the week, but we made a big deal about, you know, Activision saying a half a billion dollar investment in making uh, Destiny. They made that back on basically the first day. So, you know, as somebody who is a, a company that's looking to invest in something, you know, that they're obviously looking to make that back and more. But I do question two and a half billion dollars for an IP that uh, I think is at its peak. I I don't know. I don't know anyone who's not playing Minecraft that, you know, that is going to start playing it. Uh, But whether or not the team, especially without that leadership team, will they be able to create offshoots? Will they be able to create uh, an entirely new IP uh, from the makers of Minecraft? But yes, they'll be able to do all that stuff. But uh, is it worth that cost? I don't know. It sets the bar 
awfully high. So uh, to answer its question, will that team be able to create another hit? I think it's in, in, entire, if I was on the myth, Busters, I would say, obviously. God, I wish we were on the Mythbusters. <laughs> yes, I wish I had one of those mustaches. But anyway, the... Uh, I wish I had some know, of those explosives. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and didn't some of their team get cut too recently? Like, yes, yeah, they just yes, they did. Half their cast. Which is but anyway, ridiculous. Uh, yeah, bust that myth. But anyway, the, the bottom line for me is I think it can go either way, but I think it's a, a very high price to pay for an IP that, um, to me... Is, is currently at its height. I don't know if it can maintain that momentum. I don't know if it can expand. I'd be happy to be proven wrong, but uh, it seems like it's pretty popular at this point. So where, how can it grow to the tune of $2.5 billion is my question. All right. So well, it, it might be interesting to note that Microsoft has said that they think that they're going to recoup their expense by, what was it, like April 20th, like 2016? Like basically like 18 months or something. Um, okay. So they are very, very optimistic. They're very confident on on that front. Tony, what, what what's your read? Uh, you, very you know similar and feel like I I don't the the amount of money you know being thrown around seems kind of crazy. But uh, you know the the more specifically the questions that he's asking is do we think that you know its founders um, leaving you know what what how do we think that's going to impact them and do, will they create another hit? I you know I think they are definitely looking at this from. What what are they gonna? What's the next project they're gonna do? I don't necessarily, you know. I think some of the the recouping of is of like you know Minecraft as we know it now, but maybe hopefully the investment is more long term. Like what is the next Minecraft? You know what what is the next step from you know coming from that creative team? And I don't know. I do sort of feel like Minecraft kind of was a little bit of a. Um, yeah, I don't want to say it's like like the team is a one hit wonder, but at this point they are. I mean that they 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 are still basically reaping the benefits of their one IP that they, that they have worked on as a creative team. Um, I don't necessarily, I I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm a little worried as to what the next property, what the next thing that could come from them, whether it would be anywhere near the, the, you know, the, the successfulness that that has come from, uh, from Minecraft. And I do think that a huge part of it, you know, comes from, you know, the, the, from notch, you know, from the, 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 yeah. the guy that, you know, created everything and basically has kind of become a superstar because yeah. of this company and mm-hmm. Minecraft and just well, how he has handled things going forward, which so is why of, he says he's walking away. Well, which exactly. And that's, away. and I think he is a big, uh, well, but that's, I guess what I'm saying is to me, that was a big piece of what was so great about this company and, and the property and to not have him be in yeah. there as part of this deal, you know, really makes that amount of money to me even more crazy and risky. And I, I obviously I want to hear, I know I already spoke, but I just want to say something to that real fast, not departing the, the, the company and, and saying what he said made it very clear in his own words that he, he basically lucked out. He tried to create something that was fun. Yeah. He's a programmer. He likes to do that. And it just ended up becoming something way bigger. So it, it is kind of troublesome because, you know, usually in the world of investing, people tell you, well, we invest not only in the company, but the people. And, you know, you would think, well, this studio has a, a proven track record of making multiple IPs that are out of the, out of the park. For two and a half billion dollars, you would think that, you know, it's almost like, like that's what you would pay to acquire like Call of Duty or something like that, you know, um, or, or like you know, <laughs> Capcom or so like like a or, company or that has yeah, like exactly. a, you know, I mean just a company that has lots of things behind it as so opposed to essentially it, it, a company that it's has troublesome that the leadership team basically is admitting, hey, we're a one hit wonder, we knock this out, you know, regardless of our expectation. So here you go. So it's up to Microsoft to turn that into something worth two and a half billion dollars. So anyway, if, Brent, if what are your done, thoughts? Yeah, yes, sir. My thoughts, uh, did I think I might have just said the word thoughts instead of thoughts. Uh, hmm. My thoughts As somebody who likes to fight, feelings, you know, I think that that's... Well, it's okay. just like I thought... Wait, I was, you have feelings? I was going to say feelings and then it turned into the word thoughts. So I guess I oh. don't. I guess instead of feelings, I have fights uh, or something. <laughs> um, that would be a good name for an album. Yes. Uh, I don't know what genre of music, though. Metal. My point Black that... <laughs> black metal so my point is this um i think that microsoft views minecraft as a platform not just a game you know not just a single uh experience you know that's going to be iterated upon like minecraft 2 or you know minecraft you know minecraft reach or you know whatever the fuck it it is (laughs) 
Um, I think that they view Minecraft as a platform. And I think if you look at some of the things that they've tried to do with, uh, with user-generated content over the years and giving people the ability to... Um, you know, to, to craft a game world that they can then play in. You know, there's been several demos that we've seen from Microsoft over the years that show that that is a space that they are interested in playing in. And I think that they have, I think they've done things internally, and I think that they saw, I think they saw Minecraft as an opportunity to kind of get themselves a leg up in a space that they want to be in. They don't seem to be getting a lot of traction right now. They're certainly, they certainly don't have a hit on their hands along the lines of, say, something like a little big planet um, that, uh, you know, that you've got over well, they're trying with Project Spark, but it, it's that's not exactly, That's exactly resonating. right. I mean, you know, Project Spark, I think, I think, points to the fact that they're very interested in this. But I don't think that they, I don't think that they've gotten where they want to be with it, and so I think that they view buying Minecraft. <laughs> so just go spend two point five billion. Well, I mean, if you're oh. fucking Microsoft, what else do you yeah. do? You know, I mean, Good you know, Lord. why not? You know, so I think that uh, I think that's kind of what's going on here. I think that Microsoft is really interested in the in, in this specific kind of interactive experience, and and they're very intrigued by that ability for people to uh, to cr- basically create a game for themselves. And um, I'm very interested to see where they take it. I, I have a feeling that Microsoft uh, is hoping to use this as a foundation to build bigger and bigger things upon as time goes on. And uh, I'm, I'm very curious to see what, what ends up kind of evolving out of Minecraft uh, now that it's over uh, at Microsoft. All right. Well, you know how big $2.5 billion is? $2.5 billion is so big that I can't even do it on my iPhone calculator. <laughs> if you turn it the screen let me maybe you should turn the screen cal- sideways go to scientific mode then, then yeah, maybe it'll, say, I think it will. it'll fit on oh, okay the well i was trying to calculate how much that would be per day over the course of 10 years yeah. just to like just 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 i mean let's let's see if actually let's go to the scientific mode here okay so two five z- ba, 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 ba. this sounds ba. an awful lot okay. like you're trying to trace its lineage I am. Whenever Divided you trace by lineage, it sounds like 3, this. 3,600, all right, that's 10 years, equals, okay, 600, <laughs> that's $694,000 a day for 10 years. It's a lot of money, Jules. Dude, so, that's a lot of Minecraft. Uh, Lavitz, thank you so much for the question. We hope that you enjoyed the discussion. And, of course, if you guys have a question that you'd like us to answer, a news story you'd like us to discuss suggestion you want us to comment on you know where to find us at epic battle axe on twitter and of course we're on youtube.com slash epic battle axe please like the show subscribe to us we really appreciate all that and we're going to be back tomorrow Mm. with an all new edition of epic battle cry fueled by your suggestions and questions and beer and well, I, I wish if if we were fueled by your beer, this would be an entirely different show, much better totally. show. I might much add, better. a much much yes. better show. If you want to hear how good a show this can be, <laughs> then you just wait and you tune into the edition where we're fueled by your beer. But anyway, <laughs> until next time, I'm Brent Adams for Tony Grice and Daniel Kaiser. Cry havoc, let your voice be heard. <laughs> Kanye out. God, stand up. <laughs> He needs to have a song called Stand Up on the next album. There's no, I, there, there's no idea that can be cashed in on that Kanye mm. hasn't already got, okay? That's yeah. true. The guy's right. got the idea already, and I promise you he'll do it. And and mm. in the music video, he'll have, like, he'll have somebody, like, in a wheelchair, and then, like, Faith Heel, like, Faith like, Heel touch style. Their forehead he'll touch their forehead, and they'll get up and, and <clears throat> fucking break dance. You wait and there see. You go. Benny Hinn. Not, not too far fit. He's probably shooting it right now. With Peter Popoff. <laughs> <laughs>